Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on your VMware Workstation Player. Now, in order to install uh, Windows 11 on VMware Workstation Player, you need two things. First one is obvious, which is VMware Workstation Player. If you don't know how to download it, I will link the video in the description where I have shown you how you can install VMware Workstation Player. Now, once you have VMware Workstation Player, you need Windows 11 ISO file. So let's see how we can download Windows 11 ISO file. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. And the first link which will appear here will be from Microsoft.com. So you just need to click on this link. I will put this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this link. Now in here, you might need to log in with your Microsoft account. If you haven't already logged in with your Microsoft account, here you have a few options. We want to download the ISO file. So we will go to this section, which says download Windows 11 disk image. Here, you just need to select the Windows 11 option, and then you can click on download. Now, when you click on the download option, you will see one more option to select the product language. I will choose English here, but you can choose any other language. So let me choose English International. And then I will just click on Confirm. And when I click on Confirm, it's going to show me this 64-bit download button here. So you just need to click on this 64-bit download button, which is going to start the download of Windows 11 ISO file. So you can see it's around 5.1 GB file. So we need to wait for some time. Now, once you have Windows 11 ISO file, now we are ready to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation Player. So just open your VMware Workstation Player and you will see an interface like this. Here you need to click on create a new virtual machine and then click on the third option here, which says, I will install the operating system later. Okay, select the third option and then click on next. Now here, you need to choose the first option, obviously, Microsoft Windows. And the version, if you don't see Windows 11 here, then you can choose Windows 10 x64. Okay, if you see Windows 11 x64, then select that. But at the time of making this video, VMware player doesn't show this option. Okay, so just select the highest uh, Windows 10, which you see in my case, Windows 10 x64. In your case, Windows 11 x64 will be okay. Just click on next. And then you can uh, give the name to your virtual machine. I'm going to just name my virtual machine as Windows 11. And this will be the location where your virtual machine will be created. If you want to change this location, you can just click on browse and then change the location wherever you want to have your virtual machine. In my case, I will choose uh, this folder, which says Windows 11 next here. In your case, you can choose any folder where you want to save your virtual machine and then click on next. In the next window, you can specify the disk capacity. I generally start with the 100 GB capacity here and then choose the second option which says split virtual disk into multiple files. So you can expand this capacity later also. Then click on next and you can view whatever options you have selected here. Now I'm going to just click on customize hardware. So don't click finish here. Click on customize hardware and then we can customize the hardware for our virtual machine. So you can see on this track bar, green level is recommended and it's by default selected here. I can increase it to higher value. So let's say I'm going to increase it to 4 GB. In my case, you can increase it to any uh, capacity according to the memory in your uh, laptop or your PC, right? Let me uh, increase it to 8 GB because I have around 27 GB memory, right? Now I will select processors. Here I will choose four processors. 
and then I will choose the next option where it says uh, new CD DVD auto detect. I'm going to provide the ISO file location manually. So I'm going to select this option. And from here I can browse to the location where my ISO file is present. So in my case, this location is this one, which is Windows 11. And you can see it's .iso file. I'm going to just click on open here and it's going to just select the location of your ISO file. In the network adopter, you can leave everything as default and you can also leave other settings as default. And then you can just click on close here and then click on finish. Once you click on finish, it's going to create this virtual machine on your VMware player. Now you can start your virtual machine. So I'm going to just select Windows 11 and then click on play virtual machine from here. So at this point where you see EFI network timeout, you just need to wait for some time. Don't do anything. Just wait for some time. Now at this point, I can see uh, this message unsuccessful and it says press any key to boot from CD DVD and that's what we want. So I'm going to press any key at this point. And now I can see that Windows uh, 11 installation has been started. So as I said, you just need to be patient and uh, just wait for this window to appear. So in the first window, you need to choose the language to install. I will leave it as default. Then the time and currency format, I will leave it as default also. And then the keyboard or input method. So I have different keyboard uh, language. So I will choose that. I will choose German from here. But uh, if you have uh, the same language, then you can leave it as default, right? Then click on next here. Now on the first window, it will ask you to provide your activation key. So if you have your Windows 11 activation key, then just provide that here. If you don't have your activation key, then you can just click on I don't have the product key. So when you click on this option, you have the option to provide the product key later also. So I will choose this option which says I don't have a product key. And now from here, you can choose which Windows operating system you want to install. I want to install Windows 11 Pro, but you can choose any other option from here and then click on next. Now here you need to just uh, agree with these license terms and conditions. Check this checkbox and then click on next. And then you have these two options. First one is install Windows and keep files. Second option is install Windows only, which is advanced option. So I'm going to just choose the first option, which says install Windows only. And here you see one partition, which will be your main partition. If you want, you can uh, just provide uh, a new partition also, but I will leave it as default because you can change this anytime in your Windows 11 operating system when you have already installed Windows 11. So these settings can be done later also. And then I'm going to click on it next. And now at this point, you just need to wait for the installation. So just wait until you see this green check mark in front of each and every option here. And now I see the next window and now I can see it's starting the services and it's getting ready. And now I can see the next window, which says just a moment. And now you will see this kind of logo and the setup process for Windows 11 will now start. And then it says, is this the right country? I will leave it as default. But in your case, you can choose your country and then click on yes. Here you need to choose the keyboard input layout method, right? So as I said, I have German keyboard layout, but if you have any other keyboard layout uh, format, you can choose that keyboard layout from here. So let me choose German for my uh, laptop here and then click on yes. And on the next window, I will just click on skip. Now on this next window, I need to provide the name of my device. I will name my device as uh, code bind here and then click on 
next now on the next window you will be asked how would you like to set up this device i will just select setup for personal use but if you want to set it up for work or school you can select this one right so just select the option whichever is appropriate in your case i will choose setup for personal use and then click on next now at this point i can see uh, let's add your microsoft account option i don't want to use my microsoft account option to log into my pc or log into any other microsoft apps so i will select this option which says sign in options and then i will click on offline account for now if you already have microsoft account you can select the microsoft uh, username and password and give your username and password there right so i will choose the offline account now on the next window it says what is a microsoft account i will just click on skip for now and now it's asking me who is going to uh, use this device i'm going to give my name here and then click on next here you can provide a password which you can remember i'm going to provide a very simple password but you might want to provide a strong password in here and then i will click on next and i will confirm my password once again and then click on next and here you need to provide the answer for three security questions so you can choose any questions from here and provide the answer it will help you to recover your password for simplicity i will provide some random answers here so cb next i will choose the next question and then cb next and same for the next question okay and then click on next at this point you will be asked choose privacy settings for your device i will just unselect or deselect each and every option from here because i don't want to send any diagnostic or any other data to microsoft so i will just disable each and every option from here and then click on accept now it says it might take few minutes so you just need to wait for some time again and now i can see that i am logged in to my windows operating system and you can see my windows operating system has been started right now when i expand this vmware uh, window here you will see that my windows operating system is not resized according to the vmware window right to solve this problem we need to install vmware tools for windows 11 so to install vmware tools you just need to click on player here and then click on manage and then click on install vmware tools what it's going to do is it's going to mount the vmware tools cd in your computer so you can see uh, this option or you can click on this pc option and you will see this option which says vm in the logo and it says dvd drive vmware tools just click on this uh, option and then click on setup option here so i'm going to just click on setup 64 here and then click on yes and i'm going to minimize this window you can see preparing to install and now here you just need to click on next and then click on complete option here and then click on next and then click on install which is going to install vmware tools once that's done you can click on finish option and it says you need to restart your pc in order for the changes to take effect so i'm going to click on yes or you can restart your windows operating system manually also so i will just click on yes here which is going to restart my virtual machine again and once i do this you will see when you maximize your vmware uh, workstation window you will see that your windows 11 operating system window will also resize in this way you can uh, work with windows 11 more easily so i'm going to provide my password which i have provided and then click on enter and now i can see my windows 11 operating system has been started so this is how you can install windows 11 on vmware workstation player i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video